All right, guys. Today is gonna be the day. I'm gonna do it. So we are out trolling. Um, we're gonna run laner boards. Uh, my buddy Lane makes these. Basically a planer board with the offshore clips and then uh, different, or just different clips. He says they're pretty nice. And we've used them, they work pretty good. Anyways, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna troll. I'm gonna put my three lines out. We're gonna put two towards shore, one towards deep. And we're gonna run right along a break. It's about, uh, goes from like 20 foot down to like 40 foot. And it's really quick. So I'm gonna try to stay in like that 30 foot mark right between that. So my two closer to shore are good. And my one kind of hanging out back. What I'm gonna be using is the death roll spinners. Um, basically just a spinner rig. We're gonna put a night crawler on it. Show you how that works. Um, we're gonna be running a one ounce uh, bottom bouncer down. I thought about going two ounces to go a little deeper, but this is a one ounce, this is a two ounce. But uh, we're gonna run the one ounces for now. And uh, if I need to get in a deeper strike zone, then I'll run the other ones. But I'm gonna get set up. It's 7.45 in the morning. It is beautiful out. Let's do it. Let's catch some giant fish today. If I can't get them trolling, I got the live scope and I got some hot jigging spoons. We'll cast at them and we'll just try to pull them out of um, bait balls if they're chasing bait. But let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So first things first, get a spinner rig out. These are always fun to untangle. Like, which 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 end do they do? They do the the spinner end gets wrapped all up. Oh, no way! I think I just got super duper lucky. Oh my goodness! I did sort of. Look at that! Oh, that's like the easiest one I've ever taken apart. We're gonna hook a night crawler onto the death roll hook, just like so. Now this lets that whole night crawler spin underwater too. So this whole thing will be just spinning around. I have the trolling motor on follow. So this is what we're looking at here. This is our rig. We've got a spinner and a crawler. And there she is just a rolling. So I'm gonna drop her back. We're gonna go 50 feet. Hey, there's a sunken boat right there. I like seeing old sunken boats, that's pretty cool. We'll put a waypoint on it. Look at it a little closer. Oh, old sunken John boat or something. We'll drop the camera down on her someday and check it out. Mark, there we go. So we got 50 foot. We're gonna clip on a board here. And then the flag goes down when we get a bite. You guys don't know how that works. I like to wrap the line around a couple times. Put it in the clip here, inside. Give her some pull, tightens it up. So then there's that slack line. And we put her out. Put our clicker on. We're going. We're trolling. We are trolling. Okay. Midday update. Um, I trolled for like a long time from eight to noon. Didn't get anything. Had some, uh, had some tails get bit off the worms. I checked them every once in a while. I was running in that, you know, 40 ish, 30, that edge line. And there's not in there and come around a little extra little bay corner thing here and um, found some fish cribs. So I was like, hey, there's a bunch of fish there. Let's just sneak up a couple of bluegill, you know, snatched up a couple and then all of a sudden, shoo. Guys, I was just playing around catching some bluegill and I had a nice one on and a muskie came up and took it. So let's see if we can get this guy up and make this happen. There it is. There it is, do you guys see it?
I can get this fish in the net. Here it comes up again. There it is. I'm gonna take a dive. Dive in. <laughs> this is wicked, guys. I want to get a, at least see this fish. It's 40. I mean, I've seen it. I want you guys to see it. It's it's 43, 4 inch maybe. He's going to go... That was a good bluegill too. <laughs> Wonder wonder if I can see him on the live scope. This is gonna be wicked. Where is he at on the live scope? There he is right there. Look at this. He's on the live scope right there. He's only 20 feet down. He's gonna run. Oh my goodness, he's running right into a bunch of bait too. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Oh, come on, darling, get up here, please. That would be awesome. It's coming, it's coming real good. We're lifting. Diving, 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 diving. Oh man. Okay, here we go. Oh, just let go of the bluegill. Come back, come back for the bluegill. Come back. Where is it? Where's the bluegill? Where's the muskie? There's the muskie. Muskie's going down. Muskie's going down right there. Down, 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 down. My bluegill's up here. Oh, he's coming back for it. He's, he's looking at it. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. Look at that. I'll pull it from him. Come back. Oh, guys. Look at that. There's my bluegill and my sinker. There's the muskie just sitting there. Oh, my gosh. That was awesome. Come back. Come back. Just eat that bluegill up. He's almost wore out. Here it comes. He's thinking about it. Oh my gosh. He's swimming away. Where'd he go? And my bluegill just popped off the hook. There's my hook, the lure. Dang it, and the bluegill's just sinking down. Well, that was a fun 10 minute fight. Did I horse him too hard? I mean, I fought him for 10 minutes, so he didn't really horse him that hard. All right, live scope, 30 feet out, fish. Not sure what they are. 
but we're gonna smack smack a jig and wrap at them. Smack a jig and wrap. Let's see if they want a jig and wrap. that was just absolutely smashed it oh walleye that was instant i was pretty sure there was some a hey, flippity flop let's go pretty sure there was some right there but i think he even got it before i got to bottom dang take a quick snapshot of this guy all right let's uh try that again i guess about yay right down on a patch of walleyes there we give them a pop 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 we go two for two pop 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 oh we're on we went two for two first one was small second one d oh he's just kind of yod a little sideways little sideways action there he you know he wanted it it was just he didn't quite get it where he he wanted to get it we got him all right see you later buddy okay well, let's try again Can we go three for three you guys got water on you you do got water on you knew it Oh, three, four, three, three. Oh, he popped off right there. I seen him. Dang it. I was getting smart. I was getting smart. Four for four. Look at that. It's a decent one. Not decent. That's a little guy. Forecast. Well, okay. Forecast three fish. Okay. Can we go five for five? Give me one more, please. If we go five for five. Right here, five for five. Oh, no way. No way. Way. <laughs> Am I in Canada right now? Am I in Canada? This is ridiculous. All right, make it five for five. Okay, can we do, can we do a, a six for six? Six walleye, six casts. Literally just went from like catching nothing today. So I was trolling and trolling was not working at all. Our streak is over. Well, I guess I'm not in all the way yet. I could still keep jigging right below the boat. I think it's sideways. If it's sideways, it doesn't count. Okay, it's not sideways. Dang, that was sweet. All right, let's just say that was a practice cast. There's one. We got a sixth one on. Maybe another muscle just come and smash a wall. Hey, that one's a little better. I'm gonna net this one. Yeah, that's that's why I was gonna net it. It was because he came off like that. Okay, 
Anyways, where were we? Six. On, on the hot spoon. What is this? A bluegill. Are you kidding me? All right, get, go, go on, go on. Well, that's neat. <laughs> that was not what I expected. All right, we're gonna move a little bit here. I'm gonna do a midday update, talk to you guys. Like, hey, side imaging right there, a bunch of walleye. So I stopped. I don't know, I went one, two, three, four, you guys seen that, that was pretty sweet. Um, but we're gonna go back out to the little bit of 30, 40 foot and see if I can't do that with some, hopefully, I wanna get like a tank today. If I don't get a tank, oh well. Everybody wants a tank, right? But, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on fishing. Let's see, uh, See if we can't get some bigger, sizable fish. Them little walleyes are fun. That was, that was, that was neat. I've never caught fish like that before. I mean, kinda, but not walleyes. All right, we'll be back. There might be one like right over in here. I'll just toss her out and give her a quick yeah, 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 yeah through here. Seventeen foot deep. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah, guys, this one's decent. This one's decent. Gotta, gotta, gotta get the net here for this one, you know. Oh, come on, be easy now. Holy smokes, yep, this is, this is, oh, this is, oh, oh, he is not ready. This is the one I was waiting for. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep him in the net for half a second. There we go. Nice 18 incher, but man, it makes up for the whole day. Tell you what, let's keep at it. That's a nice fish. See you later, buddy. Nice, right back down. Yeah, yo, yo. I was saying it like, looked like there was one over in there, so I just kind of give him a pop up and he ate it man this t this morning was just nothing it was just rough out here I shouldn't have came out as early as I did I should have just I don't know jig wrapped all day instead of shoal I don't know all right I'm gonna make one of those casts where you just you just cast you know you don't even just you just that I don't know what's over there I mean, I'm sure the weed edge goes shh. 24 inch walleye sitting over there too. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm snagged. There must be a crib or something over there. Great. Dang it. Did not want to do that. I'll try to pop her off first before I really get too aggressive with it. I got it gonna pop. Huh, that almost looks like a fish for half a second. I, oh, am I in a rope? Hope I'm not in a rope. It moves and then stops. Moves, move, stop, move, stop. Bottom, that almost looks. Okay. So what my plan is to do, I've been waiting to do this for a long time because I don't want to do it. Take this rope. Okay. This is my homemade snagger jagger. You wait, you wait. We'll be getting that jigging rat back. Them things are like seven bucks a piece. Come on now. I'm gonna get my pink rope out here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie my pink rope my carabine with the old polymer knot if you don't know a polymer knot guys this is this is how it goes loop the line okay loop your line right put it through the eye of your hook this is a hook put it through and then just tie a knot yep just under and through okay 
Now don't pull tight at this point, just snug. Now take this loop, put your lure through this loop. Do, 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 just like that. Now you pull her tight. And there's a polymer knot, super simple. Now, I'm gonna take this, clip my line through it, and I'm gonna let it down there. We're gonna get this jigging wrap back. I've, I've pretty much had this for like musky baits and stuff, but I've never, like I said, I've never used it yet. Whoop, there she goes right into the prop. Okay, and we go down. Hold my line tight, get this to go down. Hopefully one of them hooks will snaggy snag here. Here we go. I got, oh my gosh. I think it worked guys. I think it worked. It worked. My little homemade jobber jobber. See, this is what I was hoping was, well, it was like this, like this hook was in there. Yes, I got my chicken wrap back. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you guys haven't made one of those, that costed me like three dollars to make with this rope and then that okay i'm gonna clean this. i'll show you what i'm looking for here this is the weed edge all these little da 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 see that those are shadows those are all walleye so 16 foot of water 16 foot of water hopefully i can't snatch a couple of those up let's go on let's see what we got Nice, nice eye. Look at that, guys. There's a good fish. Bring them up in the net. Just like that, got ourselves a nice little one. Probably a good eater if we were eating. See you later, buddy. Do it again. Right here. We're gonna set right down on them. We're gonna go pop, pop, pop. Lighten up that drag of hair. On. Woo, just like that. Oh, guys, this is a good one. Come on, let's go. Yeah, what happened? All right, chicken wrap got caught on the boat or in the net. He got caught in the net. Luckily, he was hooked good, just like that. We got another one. See you later, buddy. I want to try the hot spoon out again. I gotta. Got some fish on that hot spoon. All right, let's go with the hot spoon. See what these fish think of that. Whoa, we're on. Little walleye on the hot spoon. Look at that. He smashed it before it even hit bottom. Hungry little guy. See you later, buddy. Well, guys, thanks for uh, thanks for joining today. I'm gonna call her a day. I'm gonna come out here at night one time and try to do some night trolling. Um, ended up catching ten walleye or so on the jigging wrap and a couple on the hot spoon. Um, had that musky on. That was pretty sweet. But man, that trolling bite from eight o'clock to noon nothing happened i was in that 40 foot i went out to 50 60 foot i was over some deeper stuff but they did not want to cooperate on the trolling bite i think i might have been going a little too fast for what i was doing i'm gonna have to crank her back a little bit for t for maybe tonight i might come back out tonight but um definitely when i get out here next time but um yeah like always guys hope you enjoyed this video um like always if you ain't subscribed I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button and like always thanks for watching hope you enjoyed we'll see you next time